Here we are, it's Saturday morning, and I am off to some of the favorite things that I like to do on a Saturday morning, uh, which is go to the bakery, because I need some fresh buns for a potluck supper that I'm going to tonight. And, well, maybe not one of my favorite things to do, but living on an acreage, we do have really good well water, but it does have a bit of an odor to it. So I choose or we choose to go with um, bottled water. So I have to run to the uh, grocery store and get a couple of bottles of water. But what's really going to be fun is I'm going to explore a dairy farm. I'm headed out to um, a farm on, it's called Alberta Farm Days. And so there's a few farms that we'll be able to explore in the next couple of days. This one happens to be only open today. So I hope to go for a bit of a tour. I think they sell some corn there. I'm hoping to cuddle with a few goats um, and just see their operation. One thing that really has clued me in living in an acreage is that supporting local really makes a difference. So what I learned this morning is that if it doesn't have the blue cow on there that on your dairy products that says um, uh, supporting Canadian dairy farmers, then it's imported from the United States. And if that's what you choose, then that's great. I am preferring to support local. I've also heard that there are some dairies where you can actually sign up and get fresh milk and uh, creams and that kind of thing. So I'll see if maybe this has it or not. Now, I'm not going to be filming during uh, my visit there, but I just wanted you to know that it's nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. I've already been out to my garden. I've picked some cucumbers, some tomatoes, some beans, some fresh lettuce for the salad that I'm also going to make for my uh, potluck tonight. We've had a really good rain. <clears throat> and about three quarters of an inch, I guess. So everything is just fresh and it's a little bit cooler day. So the air is great and there are no mosquitoes. So anyway, that's Saturday morning here at Stonehaven. I'll let you know how it goes at the dairy. Wow, I've just come from the dairy farm. Wow. Um, okay, so first thing that I didn't realize is that in Canada, you cannot sell milk directly to anybody so that's interesting I get it it's probably controlling the market a little bit um, I had no idea how much work is involved with that I mean I had my suspicions but they milk up to 300 cows a day they have a thousand head they are having babies every single day like they have like six to seven calves a week so they have you know different stages of where the cows are located and you know and then they have you know the vacation pasture where they have a couple of months off before they start to come into rotation again so it was just fabulous obviously they had highland cows which oh, come on they're so cute what i didn't know about highland cows is that they can be a little rank like just kamikaze they will if you had a gate and an electrified fence they would try and go through the electrified fence in order to get out that's how crazy they are um if you aren't socializing with them if they aren't tame there's no way that you can get close to them so it's it's really interesting but beautiful animals just beautiful and of course uh, what was her name now oh shoot betsy or something like that anyways a little pot-bellied pig come on like what a beautiful life to be I know it's busy I know that there's you know there's two shifts of milking and there is um, you know the bedding that they have to do every time they're out milking they're rebedding their corrals there's you know the vet that's out there every week and there's watching for sickness and whatnot the other thing that I learned is that they have uh, little tags on their ears which is connected to an app so the farmer sorry it's a little jiggly again in a jeep there's no smooth ride in a jeep um but the farmer can you know get alerts on his phone to find out when they have uh not eaten enough or not walked enough or perhaps have increased their activity which means that they might be in heat a little bit so a little bit i don't know you're either in heat or you're not in heat <laughs> nonetheless 
fabulous. Glad I went. If anybody has a chance to take part in Alberta Farm Days, make sure that you do it because, wow, I learned a lot. And in fact, I think now I want to go to a few more farms tomorrow. Um, this one was only open here on Saturday. Oh, and they're selling sweet corn. So I was able to buy a dozen sweet corn for like 10 bucks. So I can't wait to dig into that later. All right, I am back into town so I can uh, hit that fresh bakery and carry on with my fantastic Saturday in country living. So I apologize if the video is a little bumpy and it's probably highly illegal that I'm doing this. Although it is hands-free, so I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I just had a few thoughts about living in the country and that I thought I would share with you that's different from living in a very large city for 22 years. Um, it doesn't take long to run errands. You know, normally when you are in a city, you are thinking, oh, it's gonna take me 20 minutes to get there, depending on traffic, da 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 da. Uh, we literally live five minutes outside of our nearest community, <clears throat> which has everything, including a hospital. Um, and so one of the things that I enjoy is that on a Saturday morning, if I'm running errands, literally within an hour, I can hit like five different places and be home. So it's just something that I thought I would share with you. It's different. It's something new that I had to adjust to uh, pleasantly. And the other thing is <laughs> you, ha you have to really be aware for, of wildlife. Where we live, we have a lot of deer and a lot of moose and moose uh, are quite beautiful and majestic. One of my favorite animals, don't get me wrong. But if you encounter a moose, uh, things aren't gonna look well for you. Uh, they are so large. If you are in a car, they can you can just clip them off at the, at the legs and they can land right on the roof of your truck or your car, uh, sorry. So, so there you have it. The other thing that I had to learn is I drive a Jeep. And for those that drive Jeeps, there's a never-ending saga of bugs and windshield repairs. So I actually like driving in the country in the morning because there's not a lot of bugs out. I know it's shallow, but man, once you get those bumblebees stuck in your windows, it's a bugger to get out. So anyway, there you have it. Also with the with the windshield uh, you have to be careful because there's a lot we have a lot of traffic for grain trucks and cultivators and you name it uh, always kicking up stuff so yeah I just thought I would share that because it's it's new that I had to adjust to but yes I remember driving down country roads when I was young but I didn't own the vehicle. I didn't have to wash the vehicle. I didn't have to replace the windshields. Uh, the other thing is I actually plan out my route when it comes to, well, is it pavement or is it gravel? Like how clean is my vehicle and how dirty am I going to get it? It's very shallow, I know, but when you have a limited time to tend to these things because you are still working full time, it makes a difference. Anyways, something to think about. All right, I'm done at the bakery and man, this is vehicles smell good from fresh baked buns. Um, and in, coincidentally, it is right across the street from the local meat market. So I popped in there and grabbed myself a couple of 50% uh, off items. So uh, they're all, they're frozen anyways, which I, I freeze as well. So here we are, it is less than an hour and a half and I have driven out to a dairy farm, taken a tour. I had a nice little chat during that tour. Drove back in, went to the bakery, went to the meat market, actually picked up two packages, one from a FedEx depot, one from a Purolator depot, and I'm on my way home. That is a Saturday morning. It is just 11 o'clock now, and I left home at 9.30. So that is how quick, oh, sorry, go one more stop. I gotta pick up some water. I'll still be home by like 11.20. That, my friends, is a Saturday morning, living in the country, and may I add, there was very little traffic and nothing but friendly people everywhere I went. 
This is why I live here. I'm Laurieann from Stonehaven Shorts. Woo, big speed bump there. Um, join me again. See you next time.